Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on a specific postcard that I recently sold. I'll go ahead and show you the postcard. As you can see, it is like an illustration, kind of minimalist in style, but there's a little Christmas tree and a little girl and a little boy. The little girl is like holding a like little monkey plush stuffed animal. And it looks like the boy is playing with some type of um, electronic or I wasn't really sure what it was when I list or when I was researching it. So anyway, I took this card, which has been in my death pile for probably months and um, just trying to go through. I have a lot of like cards that are probably worth only like five ish dollars. I've been trying to go through them, list them, sort through them, all that stuff. It's like what I really want to list, what I don't want to list, what I want to give away, whatever. Um, and so this specific card caught my attention when going through there. And so I did a little bit more research on it. And the first thing I did, which I'll show you guys how to do it in the end of the video, was I used the Google search, uh, the Google image search tool to reverse image searches. So once I had this scanned, I reverse image searched it and found the exact same postcard on a postcard website and I learned a lot more about what this is so maybe everyone knows this I, don't, I just didn't I don't know um, but I thought it was pretty interesting anyway so I thought I'd just share with you this is a magic lantern projector um, and these were a early um, type of technology to project images and they would use like plates to project the images like onto a wall or anything like that. And it was mostly used for like entertainment purposes or education purposes. But so it kind of finally made sense because at first I didn't know what was go even going on. But it makes sense the little boy is projecting an image and the little girl is watching it on the wall. Which we can't see but that like is what the idea behind it is. The back of it is just a really long note um, to a Raymond from an Aunt Mary. And there's, it's not postally marked or postally used at all. Um, and you can see like, the edges aren't in the best condition. Anyway, so when I reverse image searched it, one thing came up to a link to a website where I found the exact same postcard and the website was all about these magic lantern postcards and I'm guessing it's a collector of some sort who um, you know wanted to create a website about it and so anyway that's how I found it I literally could not find like any comps or anything out there that was like uh, recent listings or um, you know, just, I couldn't find anything when I searched up the magic projector. It would, all the only things that were coming up were like actual, the actual projectors and not postcards of them. So I thought, you know what, I'll list it at 10 bucks. <laughs> and it instantly, literally instantly sold for full asking price. And that means two things to me. I had a motivated buyer. And second of all, I probably listed it for too low. I probably should have listed it a little bit higher. Even if it did sit out there for a little bit longer, I should have listed it higher. So anyway, I just wanted to film this quick short video to let you guys know about if you come across any of these magic lantern postcards. And there's a whole website, and I think it's like a German website. Uh, it's called L-U-I-K-E-R wall.com um, and it's literally the entire website. It's just these postcards so anyway if you want to learn more about it go to that website and check it out so I thought I would go ahead and show you guys how to use the Google image reverse tool to help your postcard business and this might seem like a really simple tool or you might already know about it but it is just so helpful when you're trying to get more research about a postcard or when you're trying to identify um, a real photo postcard that you don't have much information about so the how you're going to do it is you're going to go to the right hand toolbar right here and click on the search by image and drag your image in. This is the same uh, postcard that I showed in the video, but as you can see, 
it brings up everything that's related to the postcard. And the first image that came up is the actual uh, postcard itself from this website I was talking to you guys about. Um, and it's the exact same postcard. So this is super helpful when you're trying to figure out more information about a postcard or where the postcard is from. And it's also great if you don't have worth point or I personally don't really like using Terapeak because it's just, I don't know. I don't like how it's sorted out. I just don't really use it. I don't find it really user friendly. So I don't, I just don't really use it unless I have to. So this is another way to go about searching and researching postcards. And also a lot of times the pictures that are on uh, real photo postcards have been put onto historical study websites or different things like that. And so it'll come up with those websites that will give you the exact location and where the postcard is from. So I just find it super helpful and it also broadens your search just not just to ebay but through the entire internet and like what everything that's on google so it is super helpful and i highly recommend it so with that being said that is going to end off our video today i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe bye